Anyways, hey yo, how's it going boys? What is up, so it's back once again for yet another character impression. This time we have the cat. But now we have grand version of the cat. Too bad, you have no human version. It's just full-blown cat forever. This cat has 11, 18 HP. She has uh, 94, 10 attack. She's special. Yes, because cats are special. Unknown type, melee. Oh, the cat is melee, huh? Mark 3, dude! Ah, shit, Mark 3! Massive wind damage to a foe. Activate wind speed. 2 2 2 meow per second, dude. Appall appallingly adorable. Wow, very. This looks like a woo, man. <laughs> she just like. She just casts a woo to the boss. A woo. And then the boss will a woo back. <laughs> because, you know, see, that, that, that's what happens when she gets charmed, right? You know? Charm effect to all other wind allies and all foes. Caster dodge all attacks from foes. Wait, we allies as well? What? <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure there's, there's more to that. Wind speed, 222 two, two meows per second. 5 hit wind damage to random foes. 1 turn cut to all foes buff durations. 20% uh, boost to caster's charge bar. Sure. So this is 5 turns, this is 8 turns. The Emerald's Windfall. The Emerald's Windfall effect to cast a random buff to all to other wind allies. Huh? Fifth activation of the effect only. Double strike effect to all wind allies instead. Can we cast? Uh, attack defense multi attack rate are boosted. Bonus wind damage effect random buff to other wind allies at the end of turn can be removed. Oh. And then you get revitalized for three turns. Dodge. Chance to dodge, three turns, supplemental, and double strike. All your praise belongs to me. Immune to charm effect. Charm effect doesn't stop wind allies' attack. Oh, okay. For wind allies with charm effect, sharp boost to stats. Oh. Interesting. Uh, limitless Emerald. Upon activating Fated Chain, all allies' next normal attack will be triple attack. Bonus wind damage effect. Well, it's better than one dispel, right? <laughs> yeah, I suppose that's better than one dispel. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> Down to five turns, and then it goes to... Okay, yeah, so that means I have 100% uptime, sure. The dodge is one time only, right? Yeah, okay. And then this one is 8 turns. And then... Uh, 155,000. Yeah, 155,000 base cap per hit. Oh. Oh, that's a... That's okay, I guess, for an extra nuke on Ogi, I suppose. Alright, but okay, what's the uh, Emerald shit? Let's see, Emerald Windfall is 30% attack, Perpetuity mod, ooh, 100% defense, 100% double attack, triple, uh, triple attack is 30%, and 10% echo. All other wind allies randomly gain a buff at the end of turn, so it's either revitalize, dodge, up, or... How much is that? 100,000 supplemental. Ooh. On the fifth effect, for this effect, only all allies gain double strike. Win allies with charm. So you're if you think about it, you're technically immune to charm as well whenever the boss has charm, eh? That actually might be really good for like specific guild wars as well, if you think about it. Just immune to charm altogether. Because charm can be a bitch. 30% uh, boost to attack is perpetuity mod as well. Holy hell, man. Oh, wait, what? Wait, so all other allies basically get this as well? As long as they have charm? It's the same fucking numbers too. Wow, that's insane. <laughs> Damn, okay. Why can't Luo be like this? <laughs> yeah, this is, this, this is actually insane. What the hell? Wait, so... Guaranteed triple. Why well, you at least get 30% echo out of this too though. That's actually kind of nice, man. <laughs> so much better than a shitty ass dispel, dude. What the hell? Dude, I wouldn't even be so mad if it wasn't like just dispel, man. Like what the fuck? This is the uh That thing, right? Yeah, that thing, yeah. 
Who would have thought? I mean, it's a PNS, so you, you definitely want the weapon no matter what. <laughs> Same shit. I'm not sure if you go to 3 though. Do you go to 3 with this? Nah, right? I think 2 is already like more than enough to be fair. Nah, you, you don't even... Why the fuck do you want to make use of voltage anyway? Fuck the voltage, dude. I mean, I said so many times in the past as well for other like P other PNS weapons. We have three types of PNS weapons before this, right? So this is the fourth one, right? For all the other PNS already, I keep mentioning this. The voltage is not that important. It's cool to have it. Yes, but it's not important. If you can get a little bit extra voltage out of it, sure. Why not, right? Why not? But it's not important. <laughs> But yeah, you know, you could probably make it work anyway. You definitely want that. But Magna... Hmm. Magna, you definitely want that too though, huh? <laughs> the main reason you're using for this is the 1 and 3. This is f fuck it. <laughs> this just helps you with raw damage. That's it. You want it just for the overcap. Because PNS gives you a massive, massive overcap because of this too. Yeah, it also helps with uh, Potato's weapon. Because potato, you need like total of 15 skills as well, so it helps. So this is actually really helpful for that. Uh, potato's weapon is a sword, alright? So it doesn't really help with voltage anyway. <laughs> yeah, we need that. Do I want that? It's probably not as important as light shit right now, to be honest. So <laughs> I mean... I don't even have potato's weapon as well, so that kind of sucks as well. I can't even... I'm not even close to Zeph, man. Yeah, Zeph is... Uh, yeah, nah. <laughs> Alright, so for... Alright, prepare for flashbang because uh, EMP time. For Cat, she has... 2 win attack. 2 win attack, 1 dodge. Hostility down. So she has attack up overdrive as well. 1 Ogi, 2 defense. No, I don't think she really needs hostility down though. Why the fuck do you want to go hostility down anyway? Dude, she has 100% defense, man. Why, why would you want hostility down? It's not like getting hit is like... You know, it, it like removes anything on her, does it? Does it? No. It, no, it doesn't do anything. What the fuck did he... Wait, what? Why does she have hostility down for then? Am I missing something here? Or is it because she's like that type of character? It's like, no, I'm not gonna get hit, <laughs> you know? <laughs> she has the, uh, you know, the, the the sassy cat thing. You have to protect the cat. Cat doesn't want to get attacked and shit. It's, it's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I think overall she's, she's nice for full auto. Full auto, she's just straight up a really good character regardless. And even in uh, V1, right, my outside of V2, she's still really fucking good. Not only you're immune to charm permanently, <laughs> you're immune to charm permanently, but you get extra 100% defense and 30% perpetuity mod to all your party members. And then you get extra 10% echo as well out of that. So good. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's so good. Like in terms of like the amount utility of utility or you get out of cat is pretty insane. You get so much utility out of her because of the insane amount of buffs she's providing. Revitalize dodge as well. Wait, did they say how much is the dodge? It's big. I mean, I would like to see the actual numbers of it, but it's fine, I suppose. Yeah, I can use it for OTK. Um. I mean, her modifiers are all the same. She can actually do damage on her Ogi compared to before. It's not like you really need to press the buttons anyway. She does hit a lot if you're lacking of characters and you somehow manage to get cat. Yeah, I can use OTK. Does a lot of damage. Gives you a lot. Gives your party a lot of uh, damage, sustain, utility, heals. If uh, sometimes, not all the time, but yeah. And then you can get double strike as well. Supplemental is pretty high too, man. 100k is a lot. I mean, it doesn't really matter who you you, you put her with, to be fair. Yeah, honestly, I, like, it doesn't really matter who you put her with. You can just put Cat with anyone and it still works. I think that's like the beauty of like, how good characters like these tends to be. You know? It's like, it just straight up 
is like so much util she's providing so much utility the only thing is that yeah it doesn't do like uh i don't know dispel you know debuffs those kind of shit right she doesn't really do that thing though other than charm i guess charm is literally the only debuff she's doing the rest is just like the amount of insane amount of buffs you're getting out of it is crazy yeah then other than that that she literally works with anyone if any setup so yeah it's really good <laughs> you can use her in a lot of situations you could i mean you could technically even use her for for burst too in a way if you think about it <laughs> You technically can actually. If you especially if like if you do not have like Mio or something, for example, or even like uh what's the other third character like Sama Anira or some shit, you can use her for, for that particular uh slot as well, just with Korwa and Naru and shit. You can still use that too. So technically you can use for burst as well. So that's fucking nice too, right? <laughs> I mean you, you get 10% fucking echo out of it too, so that's still something, right? You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah that's really neat and she does do damage too for herself so yeah she kind of helps out in that in the department too a little bit not a lot obviously probably she, in in a burst setup probably the likes of Mio or some other character might actually provide more but yeah just gonna say that it is possible to run with her too she's actually really fucking insane in comparison to a specific other dragon before this, like holy shit, that dragon, the other dragon before this is so underwhelming. <laughs> I mean, you know, like we don't really know, like before this how it was, but like after reading the event as well, I can really see how the 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 skill set of this character actually emphasizes a lot of like how the lore tends to be as well. Pretty pretty neat though. <laughs> That's actually pretty fucking neat. Nice. Because that's technically what she did as well in the story. Literally just buff your team. <laughs> she was just helping out by buffing the team. I didn't think the buff would be that insane, no shit. <laughs> and yeah, and then her weapon is a PNS weapon, so that's that's fun. Alright. That's it. Anyways, that's all I'm gonna say about the character, because I'm not it's not like I can test the character or anything. I did not like shit her like Monica honestly I would prefer to Lakshmi Monica or other than this one <laughs> I mean obviously I would not, I would like to have cat as well because you know it's PNS and shit but I don't think I can fully utilize it yet but we'll see I don't know if I really want to spark this banner or not though <laughs> this banner seems kind of whatever yeah we'll wait and see till then take it easy stay safe drink lots of water and I'll see you guys on the next video whenever that is Lamao okay